demonstrate how UEBA rules are created by a user. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and create a new custom UEBA rule. So we're in the advanced analytics. I'm going to come into my analytics settings and come down to my Xbeam rules. Now, if I wanted to start from scratch, I could go ahead and click the create rule. Uh, and this will walk me through an entire wizard on how to create a net new UEBA rule. However, we have 1700 prepackaged uh, anomaly detection rules already out of the box. And so let's say I wanted to create a rule to identify if an IoT or an OT device begins to communicate to a new geolocation for the first time. So I know that XBeam already has a rule in here for first outbound connection uh, from a given asset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clone this particular rule. And I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to clone it and say not just from asset, but from, from one of my IoT uh, devices. I go ahead and click clone. Now I can go ahead and just take a look at that rule. Let me go ahead and here we go. I'm going to now go ahead into my advanced editor. It's in draft mode. And what I want to do here is just add an additional condition. So this is the logic by which Exabeam has already baselined and established what normal communication looks like. And I can simply just update my classify if statement. And I can say, not only do I want to know this uh, when I see outbound to a dest IP for the first time, I can also now specify that I want to make sure that exist is IoT source device. And by doing this, now this rule is going to be very specific to my IoT devices making those first communications. And if that's the case, I maybe don't just want this at uh, 15 points of risk. Maybe I want this to be 50 points of risk, right? Because my IoT devices typically just communicate to the same geolocations, to the same destinations. Those are the types of devices that are fairly static. Uh, and so now I can actually go ahead and click save, or I could save and reload and put this rule right into the pipeline. So if I just save it, this will just go into my graphs mode, uh, and I can go ahead and make a modification later. But this is how you're able to really extend the capability of XBeam's analytics by cloning additional or already configured rules and models to extend the capabilities very simply and easily if you don't just want to start from scratch.